I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. What up? I wanted to share something with you guys. Uh, maybe you'll get something out of it. Maybe you won't. Now, I had a conversation yesterday with someone from the Order, so to speak. <clears throat> now, he was originally telling me that I am basically paranoid because I'm believing in the Illuminati. Now, look at he's just playing with me now. Think about it, Illuminati means enlightened. Therefore, I would be concerned a part of the Illuminati. Okay. He was just playing with us. And it got interesting. It also got pretty ridiculous. Okay, now what? look at this for a second. Now, I was, he was, like I said, telling me I'm paranoid, so I was just asking him about all these organizations. And I can go on and on and on. <laughs> but, this is his response. Well, I belong to one of them, yep, and I have achieved great rank throughout them. But they don't control anything. They are for learning and tradition. History and knowledge, service and brotherhood. Now I'll stop there. Service and brotherhood. What kind of brotherhood are you talking about, sir? Are you talking about the kind of brotherhood where we're all brothers in humanity? And that we, like Jesus said, love thy neighbor as thou shalt love thyself? No. What you Freemasons say, and what you people part of the Order say, is that if you're not one of us, you are nothing. I've heard a Freemason say that to his own son. If you're not one of us, we spit on you. That's what they said. During our, meet during our meetings, we discussed different perspectives on ancient documents. Now here's where he admits he's part of the mystery schools. Different perspectives on ancient documents. And keep alive the ancient religions. If you want to know more, I suggest you join one. But they are not about power and control. Conspiracy and lies. Okay, here he admits. This is what I'm telling you. Any of you who don't think these Freemasons and all these other organizations are a part of this New World Order, you are completely wrong. And I don't even care if you're a part of the organizations, because you're being lied to. Or you're lying to me. It's one or the other, because I know you Freemasons. Now he's telling me to join one. I know more about their order than most of them do. And that's the truth. So. This, oh yeah, but this is my proof. Any of you who don't, and a lot of you look for the connection of the bloodlines to Egypt and Babylon. Personally, I don't believe a bloodline goes back that far. I think they lie about that. But, certainly the orders do. Keep alive the ancient religions. What do you think he's talking about? He's talking about the mystery schools of ancient Egypt and ancient Babylon and the Roman mystery schools and the Greek ones and the Assyrian ones and all the other pagan ones. They're practicing pagan old ages rites. And he just admitted it here. Now let me see if I can find this for you, because he starts talking about how he, 
he's attacking himself. Hold on. Here it is. I'm not saying it's the only answer. There are several factors that lead people, nations, empires, organizations to fa fail. Misinformation, paranoia, image, bad leadership, to name a few. Frankly, I'm surprised things have lasted this long with complete morons who are in charge. Now, a Freemason, I don't know if he's a Freemason to be honest. When I went off on him after he told me he's a Freemason, he... He was denying he's a Freemason. And he told me he was a, a, a part of another organization. So I don't know what he is. Um, he told me he's a Gnostic. But I don't know what he is. I'm guessing he's a Freemason. I don't know what he is though. But I know that they lie to you. Now, one thing I want to focus on here. I'm surprised things have lasted this long with complete morons who are in charge. Now, he is attacking the United States government right here. Now, I'm not a fan of the United States government either. I'll be the first to say that. But he admits, down here, that he's part of the order. He is part... No, he's not a, not a... He's not a part of the Illuminati. He's working for the Illuminati, for sure, though. He's a worker of iniquity. But here's my point. Freemasons, well, one, all these organizations have been attacking each other for centuries. Something you should understand. Two, the theory of the New World Order will be brought, will be used to bring about the New World Order. That's what the New is. The New World Order is a criticism of the Old World Order. And I'm not going to spend more time on that. Because I'm planning on doing a video later on it. Anyways. Alright, now when he says, right here, where he admits to being a mason, yep, I belong to one of them, and then he goes down here. If you want to know more, I suggest you join one. Which, I can learn more from the outside and expose Mystery Babylon. But they are not about power and control. Conspiracy and lies. Now, I talk to people within the so-called truth movement, and they know people who are Freemasons. I bring up Freemasons are... They're the ear of this, uh, this New World Order. And that's what they are. When you see their symbol, that is the ear. Okay? They, they lie. They are... They take an oath. They swear an oath. To defend any brother Mason. If one brother Mason is running for political office, you must vote for that brother. If one brother Mason is applying for a job, you must hire that brother Mason over any other person applying for the job. No matter what the qualifications are for the job, or no matter how skilled that brother is over anyone else, for that matter. They will lie to you. They take an oath to either keep silent or lie. And I have a book about Freemasonry. Well, it's it's signed by the 33rd degree Freemason of my state. And it tells me all about the order. It's mostly for third degree Masons. Now I also have morals and dogma and stuff by other Masons. But... In the book, that basically it's a brief thing about joining the order. Now, I have to say he just broke the oath, to be honest. They usually won't admit this. When he says, Service and Brotherhood, during our meetings we discuss different perspectives on ancient documents, keep alive the ancient religions, if you want to know more, I suggest you join one. Okay. Keep alive the ancient religions. Now, in the book I have, it says, You shall not disclose the truth about any 
of our origins of Rome, Egypt, and Babylon. Anyone who has studied into this briefly, I can tell you this much. Freemasonry doesn't come from stonemasonry. That is not what he is talking about here. I am sorry. That is not what he is talking about here. By saying, keep alive the ancient religions. That is, he's not talking about being stonemasons in Egypt. Freemasonry does not come from stonemasonry. I'm sorry. It comes straight out of the Knights Templars. It, now, if you guys want to read this, the rest of it, uh, then just hit, hit pause. Um, and I'll leave a link so you guys can look at it. Just hit pause if you want to look at it. Yeah, my friend jumps in here. But... It gets interesting. He was just playing with us, though. So, I'm just uh, giving you a guy as a hint. Be aware of these uh, trolls on the internet. And be aware that Freemasons will lie. When you, you If you know a Freemason, they, they don't know what's going on. There's way too much Freemasons to disclose that truth to. Only the ones who control Freemasonry know what's going on. And that's the truth. Most of them are being deceived. Most of them think they're Christians, or think they're Muslim, or think they're Hindus. They're not either of them. Like I, I said somewhere in here, I don't care what holy by or holy book you have on your altar. You guys, the only worship you guys have is Baal. That's who you worship. You worship Baphomet. And that's the truth. I don't care if they have a Bible on their altar. I don't care what kind of Bible it is. I don't care if they have a Quran on their altar. I don't care. They only worship Satan there. Don't believe me? Knock on the door. Don't believe me? Read Morals and Pog Dogma by Albert Pike. Okay, now one thing I want I wanted to show you guys. He was telling me he's a Gnostic. Now, just for a second, look at the stuff he posts on his Facebook. Like I said, he doesn't know what's going on with this New World Order. I see dead, brain dead people. Alright. Anonymous. People against the NDAA. Gnosticism. Activists around the world for Palestine. Look at the stuff he's liked. And remember, he's a Freemason. Now think about that for a second. The Quran. The Gnostic Gospels. Any of you who don't know, the Gnostic Gospels have been popular in the last decade or so. Especially with the uh, Da Vinci Code. And basically what they are is... Basically what they are is um, supposedly Gospels of Jesus Christ. Which is, that's why everyone has been going to them. But what they are... Well, they're not legitimate Gospels. They're written hundreds of years after Christ, of course. Everyone has been going to them. Everyone, all you people who are going to them, and just look at this Marine Corps. What a shame. Um, all you people who have been going to them, you don't know this. Gnosticism. Well, maybe you do. But Gnosticism, uh, if you do, you shouldn't be looking at them or gaining truth from them at that. I don't care if you read them, but you shouldn't be getting truth from them. But Gnosticism, they believe the Creator God is evil, and that they have these Archons. Jesus is one of these these Archons, and that they come down and, uh, from wherever they're coming from, 
and they give us knowledge, like Jesus. And just look at his uh, geometry picture here. You can tell he's some kind of mason. He said he was not a mason. I don't really care what order or part of part of the order he's in. All right, I guess that's it. If you want to read more, I will leave the link there. But I just show you this because to understand that Freemasons will lie to you, that there are trolls on the internet who will screw with you. I mean, one, the NSA just has trolls on the internet that just screw with you anyways. And two, these Freemasons go on the internet and just get reactions out of you. And also, think about how he said, I'm surprised that things have lasted this long with the morons in charge. Freemason, the Illuminati doesn't care if you know about them. Until you understand that, then... Then you're being deceived. That's all I can say. Alright, peace.